Today we are on the Rhone River having a little boat trip to talk about my piece journey. And the first thing I want to show you, as it is on most of my pieces, is this little ostinato on the left hand, this motif. It's really a C major 7, becomes a C dominant become uh, F7 sus4 with a four, 4 instead of the third back to C major 7 so I'm going to play you the whole figure again so that's the figure over which the melody comes and over this bass line I just showed you comes the melody while I loop this figure. At this point, the left hand starts to change, uh, still based on the same pattern, but the harmonies are changing. Now we're back to the original pattern and it's the second round of the melody, it's just a variation of the first theme, changing a bit the notes here. we play uh, now in A major so it's the same pattern with the left hand as it was in C but tra transposed in A major and then after the solo comes this theme for the, the end of the piece which is based on the same idea but starts on a different key the original theme starts on the G and the theme at the end starts on an E and the bass line is going down chromatically. you have this little uh, motif that goes like this. And that still goes over... And I can even play this with chords. A 
over the pattern. That's what I used to come out of the solo to the head out. Then I play it again, just quoting it at the very end of the piece. So that was uh, my little explanation on the journey. Of course, for more information, check out the music sheet for the notes and more uh, elements. Feel free to try it out for yourself and enjoy. <laughs>